سسونی قرار سسونی قرار سسونی قرار سسونی قرار تلو بدش بگیر تلو بدش بگیر خودی ری پلور تلو بدش بگیر تلو بدش بگیر خودی ری پلور Is there such a thing as how to make hot ice? Our hypothesis is that there's no such thing as hot ice because at 56.4 degrees Fahrenheit, ice should start melting. So, Sara, for this project, what materials do we need? Well, we need sodium acetate, we need some water, we need a pan, we need a glass cup, we need a tray, we need a refrigerator, we need a camera, and we need a stove. So Sara, what researchers did we need to make this experiment? We used the internet, we used YouTube, and we used Google. You know, it was hard getting this stuff done, but we still did it because we're the mad scientists of Fedahim. So Angelo, what procedures did we use for this experiment? First, we're going to get the syringe, and we're going to put 20 milliliters of water. Then we're going to put the 20 milliliters of water in this pan. Then we're going to put at 4 teaspoons of sodium acetate and we're going to mix it constantly until it's all dissolved. But then we're going to put the, the solution into the fridge and we're going to take it out and touch it. Then, voila! Hot ice. Our results did not support our hypothesis. Instant hot ice. In conclusion, by making sodium acetate dissolve in hot water and letting the solution cool off, you can keep the crystals in aqueous form until you trigger the solidification with your finger. When combined, it looks like ice, and because the crystallization is exothermic, which means it is, releases heat, the ice-like substance releases heat. Now, now we're, we're going to show you how, how it's done. done. So, Ed, can you show them how to make hot ice? Yeah. Autumn, can you please pass me the syringe? Yes. Thank you. Uh, can you hold that, please, Autumn? So, I'm going to put 20 milliliters of uh, water into this pan. So now we're going to take the pot and put it into the stove until it's boiling point. So Ange, our water has reached the boiling point now. So now we're going to add 4 teaspoons of sodium acetate into the water. Okay, okay, now we're going to mix the sodium acetate in the water. the solution into the fridge so it cools down. Okay. So Now you see it's all water, it's all liquid. Now we're going to put it into the fridge so it cools down to room temperature.
Our solution is now out of the fridge and has cooled down to room temperature. If you like to observe, it's still in liquid form. So, if you guys don't mind, since you guys did all the talking, I would like to perform the experiment. I do mind, but go ahead. Okay. <laughs> yes. Wow. wow! It's awesome. So cool. How is it doing that? Excellent. <laughs> Wait for it. See, it's hot. It's hot. As you can see, it's now a solid and has completely frozen into hot ice. We are the math scientists of the